Hello everyone, so in this video, I am going to show you how to set up PCSX to um, 1.6, yeah, 1.6.0 with HD settings or even 4K, 8K maybe, if you can. The first thing we want to do is go to the, I think, the BIOS selector, configure, or, or just go to video and plugin settings. That's it. And here is my settings for the PCSX to 1.6. Um, you can copy paste it everything everything in this um, in the settings there's nothing else everything is default or you can just copy and paste and the thing that i want to change is only this one the international resolution you can go up to maybe 5k 4k even um, i use it for like around 2k i think that's probably probably the best but remember um you need a beefier machine to do this i tried 720p it looks kind of okay but it still looks pretty bad uh, 1080p still looks pretty meh and i think 2k is the sharpest uh, for my 1080p gaming monitor and for renderer you want opengl you want basically hardware you don't want software or anything it will bug out or anything uh, i don't really understand but it is what it is but please always choose hardware either you want to go for direct 3d 11 I think it's fr uh, from the GPU itself. Uh, I use for OpenGL because OpenGL probably is the most stable one for the PCSX. And yeah, so uh, I want to demonstrate on how um, the difference between native PS2, two times native, three times 1080p, and probably 2K. I don't want to go up to until like 4K because my machine cannot handle that. And first of all, I want to choose for the PS2, the native PS2. I like playing. Uh, what is this called game kingdom hearts so i will do a kingdom hearts oh my god look at that the blur look at the blur guys Ooh. as you can see it from right there oh my god the blur okay let's do this i don't care i don't care let's go okay stop the turbo look at the native ps2 guys <laughs> can you handle the <laughs> i don't like 360p all right that's it we're changing everything is so bad that's it so we go to video we go to plugin settings just go to this one let's try 720p i think it will change on the go yeah it will change on the go it looks a lot better but st still blurry in my opinion so i don't like to use 720p look at that we will change to 1080p. Here we go, 1080p. Okay, okay. I will demonstrate maybe 4K, but I don't think I can play at the 4K state. So re zoom. A lot better, a lot better, as you can see right there. A lot more clear than uh, than before, as you can see. It looks good, but it, <laughs> I don't know. It's not yet crisp, okay? So I want to change to 2K. 2K is probably my favorite because um, from 1080p to 2K, it doesn't really... Um, what, what do I want to say is, it doesn't really use much of your computer. I mean, so the difference is only a little bit from your computer, but difference in the game itself, it is so clear. Like 2K is probably the best in my opinion, as you can see right there. There's... I don't know, there's no more hard edges in my opinion, okay? But of course, this is only the gameplay. For the cutscenes, um, it doesn't... I don't know why, because it doesn't render for 2K itself. It's still blurry, it is still... So this will only work for the gameplay. Now I will change this to, I don't know, 3K. I don't know if I can see... I mean, if I can see this in my monitor. So, yeah. Anyway, this is um, anisotropic filtering. It's just, it doesn't use much of your computer or your CPU, but it does give you the crisp, uh, clear edges in, in the image, okay? So if you go to 16, it will load more from, from your PC. It will use more power from your PC, but it's only a little bit, you know, a little bit. So, oh my God, that is so clear. I can see his eyes. I can see his eyes right now. Can I zoom in? I don't think so. I don't think so. Look at that. Look at that, man. 3K with 16 times 
filtering. I don't know. And it's top tropic filtering. Okay. Um, let's go and do that. And we will go for the 4K. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. With 16 times. Oh my god. That is 4K. That is 4K. You, <laughs> you can see his eyes right now. But I don't think this will be the... Oh, look at that. So crisp, so clear. But I don't think you can see because my game is only... I mean, my video is only 1080p, right? But yeah, you can see the difference uh, if you set it up by yourself. So I want to test it out again for 5k. And here is it with 16 times the filtering. And <laughs> first of all, it is so like... Oh, oh, but it is so clear. Look at the shadow, man. Look at the shadow. So clear. So clear. Everything is everything looks so freaking clear. But oh my god. Oh the input delay man. The input delay. So goddamn bad. The input delay. Okay. No, I cannot play this on 5k. But it is what it is. Um Maybe if you have a beefier machine than me, like a 2080 Ti, maybe you can with the 16 times filtering. But um, for my stabilization, for, I mean, for my um, PC, I like to keep it at uh, eight times and and 2K. I mean, yeah, and 2K. Maybe you can go for 16 times, but sometimes for like more demanding, you know, a more demanding game, it will kind of lags out a little bit. So I think 2K probably is the best for me. I don't like 3K. Yeah, even though it is not, uh, it's, it is still a bit blurry. Yeah, as you can see, as you can see it in the eyes, uh, it is still fine. It is still fine for me. All right, that is it. A basic, simple explanation of how to do settings. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys again on the next one. Bye, guys.